Thank you for that introduction, Master Footman. Now today, I'm going to be going over the first uh, new item of the R5 release, and that's the config editor itself. In this release, the config editor has been completely revamped um, to go with a, some of the changes that happen in the Igniter firmware itself, and just to provide some improvements I've been wanting for a while. One of the biggest changes in R5 is that uh, a lot of the variables have been renamed in the configs. Uh, a new config has been created, some variables have moved into it, uh, and also the WAV files themselves have sort of moved uh, into subdirectories uh, within each font. Now all of these changes sounds overwhelming and, and daunting to a user, but the good news is the config editor will convert it automatically for you. So let's go over that scenario right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, this font. So in this R5 directory, I've actually just copied and pasted an old R4 font. It's actually from my Luca V3 saber. And so let's start with font 1. Uh, so let's open that as normal. Now again, this is a R5, uh, an R4 config rather, and it has n no notion of the new R5 framework, so I'm just going to immediately open it. Uh, now one first thing you'll see is I've changed. I've also added this nice progress bar. That gave you an indication of uh, you know how the opening progress is going. And not only does that help with the UX, helps the user understand what's going on, but it also uh, it puts a lot more work on the background thread and actually makes it more speedy. Now, while I was talking, you can see that completed. And if you look down in this new window, um, while this window has been here, I've improved it to make sure all the logging gets outputted. And it's actually in reverse order, so newer stuff will always be on top. Um, there were some messages that would go down to the bottom before. But what you can see is that all these things, like this variable now belongs in this, and it got moved. Uh, this thing has been renamed. And so this has completely uh, changed your config to look like an R5. And now we can go into the directory uh, to this font, and you can see now all the folders have been created where the actual waves live. The new color that .ini has been created. The multi-wave was also auto-generated. Uh, so this uh, config is basically ready to go now for R5. And basically the config editor was able to completely convert it for you. Just remember to hit save, otherwise uh, you will lose those changes. Okay. So now that we have the font converted from R4 to R5, I want to go over some of the new features that the config editor offers. <coughs> one of the first ones you'll notice is that uh, the font name is up here now in the corner. And this was, I really did for myself because I kept forgetting which font I was on and would have to go back to file open to see what the last thing I opened was. Uh, so this makes it a lot more convenient. Um, but the main thing I really wanted to talk about is this new edit and add waves files uh, functionality. So once you've opened the font, uh, this becomes accessible. And now what this allows you to do is basically bring in new waves for an existing font. Um, for example, if you want to bring in, uh, if the font maybe you want to add more clashes or blasts or something to it, uh, before you where you used to have to rename those and manually put them in the right folder and then still update your config, now you can actually just use this functionality to do it automatically. Um, so for instance, let's say that uh, in our font one, you see this new file structure with the uh, individual uh, folders. So in our clashes, see, we only have eight clashes. So we like these clashes, let's assume, but let's say we want more variety of clashes. Um, and let's say that we really like in font three, we love its clashes. Um, the clashes are in there, so we're going to add all these clashes into font one. Now, of course, it doesn't have to uh, be font three. It could have been any of these fonts or any, really any uh, wave files that we could have downloaded or anything, but let's just say font 3 is the one you want to copy them. Okay, so to do that, we can just go to add, it, wait, add wave files. Um, then we can go to our font 3 where we want to copy them from. And now you can select as many files as you want. So let's uh, select uh, all the clashes. So you can know, control click or click one at a time. Or if you hold shift, you click and then hold shift and then click again, that will select all of these clashes. And let's uh, open those. And now you can see down here it says copying selected waves. 
um, and the number of flashes has been updated to 23. Uh, so what this means is first if you go to disk, we go back to font 1, you'll see that it added all these clashes, and you see the numbering is correct, so after 8, it's, it basically started with 9, 10, 11, so the numbering is perfect. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting those right anymore. Uh, and to boot, it says it's been updated to 23. So what that means is now the config itself knows that there's 23 uh, clash sounds for this font now. And of course in font 1 and font 3, those uh, original clashes still exist. Now another convenient way to copy the waves, besides just going to edit add waves, is actually to directly uh, drag and drop the files into the igniter. Uh, so in the R5 editor, this space here has become a drop target. So you can, uh, let's do another example. Let's say, again this is font 1, so let's say that we also um, want to add in the blasts from font 2. Say these are really cool blaster blocks, I don't know, there's some long sound or something. So we can grab these three blaster blocks, um, click and drag, drag these right into igniter, when we go to it, we can see copy and select the wave files, variable and blast has been updated to 7. Uh, so going back to disk for font 1, if you go back to the blast, you see that now these three blasts have been added. So we have 7 total fonts and the config knows about it. Uh, this is just another simple way, if, if you're dealing with fonts on disk, to be able to directly manipulate the disk structure and make this pro the igniter config editor just like a standard disk manipulation. Now, another thing that has become really easy with the R5 config editor is adding new fonts. Um, now, in Igniter R5, the number of fonts has been increased from uh, 9 to 16, so now Igniter can have up to 16 fonts. Uh, so I do believe a lot of you are going to be using this functionality specifically. Uh, so let's, in this font, let's go ahead and add uh, one new font. So let's just say font 1 has about the settings we want so we're going to just copy that that's the easiest way to start is to copy uh, from an existing font so let's rename this to the new font uh, so now in, in uh, igniter after 9 it goes a b c d e f g so we'll do font a that's the next font <clears throat> and as you can see the first thing you notice is right away it automatically knows uh, that we now have 10 fonts so that gets updated immediately so let's uh, save that so it's saved, and then we can open and start editing our new font, font 9, or font 8. So let's go ahead and open font 8 for editing. Okay, now uh, this has all the same config settings, it also has the same wave, so we don't want that. Let's say uh, we're going to copy our waves from here, which is something we downloaded. Uh, and this is uh, the Lord uh, Blaco's uh, Obi Obi Wan TPM Rage or whatever his font is named. Great font. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to copy these waves instead of these waves. Uh, now it seems like oh it could be hard. We have all the waves here and these now go into individual folders. But Igniter is quite clever. The config editor will actually just move these back into the folders. Uh, so the easiest way to do this is just go ahead and just delete all these folders. Sure. Uh, and then over here, we've got all these selected. You can To select them all, you can just do Control A. Uh, and then you can right click and drag. And let's copy these. I don't want to uh, destroy the original location. And the only thing is, it wants me to replace the font that way. So, yes, I'll do that. And now, if we go back to the igniter, um, as you can see, it says Font 5 Drawing, Moving, um, it's finding all the fonts. So uh, it's basically found them, and as you can see, it's actually moved these now into the directories as they belong. Uh, so this way, this font is now all ready to go. We saved this, all the numbers are correct. Uh, so we have the same sort of settings as we did before. Uh, probably all we need to do is just update a few of the blade settings, and we're good to go with a new font. Okay, the last two uh, functionality I want to show you for the R5 config editor is in the new file, uh, convert waves and high pass filter. Uh, now these two functions, which is why I've uh, closed the app and have reopened it, these two functions actually work just directly on waves, not tied to any font. So these functions can be used without a font open. Um, in fact, I've designed these more for font makers even uh, to help aid them in their font creation. 
And in fact, these functions can be used for um, other popular uh, soundboards uh, that use basically 22 hertz uh, mono uh, sound wave sound files. Uh, but what these functions mostly are for is to help with igniter um, when for waves that are sort of locking up the board. If someone uh, like Audacity, uh, if someone's used that program or some other similar programs that add these weird headers into the wave and cause it to not work right, um, or the file was stereo, it didn't get down converted. Or if it's um, in 44.1 uh, hertz instead of 22.050, uh, all three of these can be fixed automatically with this convert wave. It's very simple. So let's just you know go open. Let's say this uh, this first font. Um, say every time I do a clash, or most of the time I do a clash, it locks up. That's uh, indicating that one of those clashes is probably got the bad format. So let's, whoops, I did open that time. So let's go to convert waves for font one. And we will um, say convert, fix these clashes. So if we just select all these to convert, we'll see the progress is completed. So now all of these waves, um, all the issues have been fixed. So if they were if they were stereo, they've been downsampled to mono. If they were uh, 44 one, they've been downsampled to 22050. You know, if they had the extra headers in them, those have been stripped, and so the wave is saved in the exact format that Igniter and even other boards can actually read. Uh, so this is going to be really useful for anyone that does a lot of wave editing. Just at the very end, you can use this functionality, your waves are going to be good. Uh, similarly, there's the high-pass filter option. Uh, now this is specifically is helpful for Igniter um, because with Igniter, since there's the true mixing and the mixing is on the fly, with the hum and the other sounds, um, certain sounds that have a lot of low frequencies in them, like the swings, if the hum already has a lot of low frequencies, what happens is when they mix together on the fly, they get kind of jumbled together, and it just sounds like noise, it doesn't sound too good. Uh, so when you have fonts that are sounding kind of, when you're, especially with swings or uh, any of the sounds, or especially swings, when you hear that jumble, you can use this to sort of fix that so that the swings will come through nice and clear and loud. Um, so let's say in font one, we also have that problem, all the swings are too, Kind of low and jumbled, uh, so we can just go to high pass filter, and basically, uh, you know, we can grab the swing, select them. Now, one thing to note is before you click this, just remember this operation is destructive, so that um, make sure to back up your waves if you you think that you may not like this effect. Uh, but once you select it, the filter is applied, and that's it. So then, when you put this back on your saber. Um, you know, any of those problems should go away. Now, I hope everyone has enjoyed all these features I've added to the Fig Editor and it will make their uh, configurations of their sabers much, much easier.